Hey everyone, how's it going? Nerds here, Suck here. Uh, trying to speak a little bit louder this time because I noticed that when the camera was in the back, it was a little bit difficult to hear us. I'm too poor to afford a microphone and I'm too stupid to put one together, so we're just going to be screaming at each other now. Great! In any case, here we are coming at you again with another drive through video. Woo! drive through review! Yeah. Have you ever seen PewDiePie when he does his uh when he does his meme reviews? Drive through review. Oh shit. The Roads Here Suck Reviews Drive Throughs is basically a mini series where you go up to the drive throughs to subscribe. Take it to a spot to eat together and show you guys the food and give it a rating. That's about it, really. So we hope that you enjoy the show. Thank you for watching. Last time we basically started with McDonald's as our baseline. So everything that we're going to have now is going to be in comparison to McDonald's. From the couple of comments that I did get for that first video, people have suggested that we should try vegetarian options. That's a good idea, but I think we'll come back to it later. And I don't want to do McDonald's a second time in a row either. There aren't options at McDonald's. For vegetarian items? No. I think Burger King is the only place that I think Burger King is the only place that has it. I saw sheets that they have a Beyond Burgers. Well, but. some places have vegetarian options. Uh, we'll definitely look into those, but not today. <laughs> so I am listening to you guys. I I'm promise. Listening. Just not today. <laughs> Anyways, the plan is to go to Wendy's. We're going to try to figure out what to get to eat, because I've, I've been to Wendy's maybe once or twice in my whole life. That is impressive. So I don't even know what the whole menu is like. So I feel like it's going to be a little bit difficult for me to order. I feel like, you know, like I'm under pressure to knock out, like to order right away, but then I don't know what to eat and have. So it's going to be interesting, I guess. And uh, we'll just see how it goes. Our lunch spot today is going to be the airport, which is right there. More specifically, the like cell phone waiting area spot. So we can watch planes move around while we eat. Last time we went to the river. And you know, there's not a lot of cool places around here to have a lunch in peace, but hey, this guy has a Mickey Mouse bobbing the thing on his antenna too. Hey! Hey! B! C! That's not how you spell Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Has run thin! <laughs> Why? For the glory of Satan, of course! What? <laughs> You're <a> Catholic! <laughs> In any case, like I was saying, we're probably gonna eat at the airport simply because every time we do a video, we can't be eating in the same spot. Because you guys, you know. Water looks pretty, but okay. It, let's face it; it would be nice to travel around just a little bit, sort of. So uh, off we go. All right, we're at Wendy's. I almost missed it. Oh, she forgot. Next to a cemetery. How nice. How do I get to the drive-through? This way. One hour parking sucks. I was having breakfast. What? I always get a 4 for 4. You take down on the lower, the deals on the lower right side. Yes, please. Would you like that large? Sure. And what drink can we get for you? A Coke, please. Uh, no. Uh, actually, could we skip the ice on the Coke? I'm sorry? Uh, but for the Coke, could it be no ice, please? Absolutely. Thank you. And, uh... Anything else? Yes, please. Um... Could I please get a four for four with the Junior Bacon Cheeseburger? Okay, what is right? What is the sauce or what drink? Uh, no sauce and a Coke. And could I also 
I'm a small vanilla frosty, please. Um, nope, that'll be all, please. 1726, thank you. Thank you. We just got out of the drive-thru. I didn't know what I was getting when I was coming in. So when the lady said, try a Baconator, I was like, yeah, I'll try a Baconator. So, and we also got that large too. That was probably so like random for you to say yes. Yeah, it, it was actually, I just, I just didn't know. Like, I doubt anybody ever says yes. I imagine lady was sitting there on the headset and she's like, oh, yeah, she said, yeah. oh, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> and we I got mean, one. Yeah. Uh, and you got the, what was it, four for four? Yes. And uh, chocolate frosty, yes. because the vanilla frosty machine throws up apparently. Mm -hmm. Both are delicious. I've never, I've never heard of a frosty machine freezing up. I'm just guessing they didn't clean it. Oh, ice cream machines fuck up all the time. It, it's you'd be surprised. Um, in any case, both our food bags look about the same size, but our meal came out to be like 17 bucks. So I'm guessing my baconator was like 12 bucks or something like that. Now we're going to the airport. Let's see if I can make it there without um, getting lost. Spontaneous flight, where do you want to go? Tahiti. Aruba, Jamaica, ooh, I want to take you to Bermuda, Bahama, come on pretty mama, <sighs> off the Florida Keys. Okay, wait, count, how many places on that, on that song have you actually been to? There's a place four? called Kakamo. That's where I want to go to get away from it all. <laughs> you know sometimes I just have to look at you and be like, yep. Stop touching me there! This is your leg. They don't know that. No, I'm trying to pet your leg. You're trying to pet my wallet. Your wallet's just in the way. <laughs> Alright, you guys know the drill, gotta move the camera up front and we'll be able to stop screaming at you. Now, I always feel weird playing around with cameras in like public. I just feel like people stare at me. But, you know what, they can fucking mind their own business today, I don't care. How did I have it last time? Something like this, huh? Yeah. Wendy's! You got a four for four? Yes, so I got a burger. Four nugs. What the fuck? That's so cute. A little fry. That's so cute. It's like a kid's menu. And then the drink. It's four for four dollars. Four things. Okay, one good thing about Wendy's, the lettuce is a whole leaf. So instead of asking them to not put lettuce on it and risk like upsetting somebody and getting spit in your food, you can just take it off yourself. Plus, they put like tomatoes on your sandwich. And just this. Check this out. This is the saddest box of fries I've ever seen. Well, but, I was eating out of it. But if you look inside, it doesn't end there. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that, but there's fucking fries for years up in here. Anyways, let's reach down and fish out our burger. This is so good. Now, the commercials I've seen on TV claim this is the best invention since sliced bread. I'll be the judge of that today. I'm just gonna set this bag down in the back here somewhere. For now. And uh, let us begin by unraveling this. See, it's dry, but it feels slimy. I, I don't know why. Doesn't it? Doesn't it feel slimy and goosey? This is a nice wrapping for a sandwich. Definitely worth 10 bucks. This is the burger. 
Actually, compared to McDonald's, I mean, yeah, I mean, oh, it's just a glazed, like, brioche roll. That's fine. Yeah, brioche. So that's what the Baconator is. It has bacon in it, yes. The bread in true fast food fashion is, like, glued oh, onto... Shit. I didn't warn you. There was mayo on it. That's fine. And what we have here is bread, meat, cheese, bacon, meat, cheese, bacon, bread. Not bad. All right, let's eat the sucker and see how... Let's see how good it is. It looks slimy, but it's not. It's just a glazed... See, it's like a glazed beef roll or whatever. Hamburger bun, whatever you want to call it. It's food. Mm. That's actually a very good bite. The nuggets look a bit more realistic, too. Nuggets look a little bit more realistic. The bacon is crispy, but not so crispy that it's annoying. And it's super hard to mm -hmm. It's like a gentle, fresh crispy. The patty looks like ground beef. So... This is you want, like... Actual decent food fast food. Mm -hmm. McDonald's is I want to put garbage in my body that tastes delicious. Mm -hmm. Both very valid options. They do put ketchup in this. You get that little slight oh, really? you get that slight tangy taste of ketchup in a fat meat sandwich. Are you sure it's ketchup? Let me see. Yeah, it's red. Unless it's like pig blood or something. See? Okay, there's some ketchup in there. That's what I was trying to- just take my word for it. But this is essentially a fat fucking meat sandwich. For 10 bucks, that actually might be priced better than Hardee's, I think. Hardee's has what they call a monster burger. Which, you know, I don't know what it is by weight, but it, by, by the looks of it, it looks about the same quantity-wise. And... This was like 5 bucks or 3 bucks cheaper. So that's good. The price versus quantity. We ended up paying like three or four dollars more for this than for McDonald's, but the price versus quantity, for what I'm having at least, seems to be about fair. Yeah, that's good food. I don't know why people shit on Wendy's so much. Plus, plus Wendy's has the best Twitter. Twitter? Mm -hmm. Have you heard of Wendy's? Oh, I thought those were like they... photoshopped images. No, that's legit. That's legit. <laughs> Wendy's will cut you. <laughs> no, I I asked for a Coke with no ice. And I got a Coke with no ice. Why? One, it's already fucking cold outside. Two, the drink comes out of the fountain somewhat cold. Three. Um, when you order no ice, the whole cup is filled with coke, whereas if you order with ice, they fill like 90% of the cup with ice and the rest with coke. So... I wonder if this says the volume... You guys know where I'm going with this. Does, yeah. this, does this tell you how many milliliters or liters this is? I want to say this is half a liter, which, is a, which is a lot. Dip your fries in the frosty. You're not doing it right. Ew. It's good. Nasty. I can't stand people that do that. Do it. Eat it. Ow. Okay, it's not that bad. It's actually kind of good. <laughs> There's something so special about the Frosty. Because it's ice cream, but it's not super bland, like... Do you know what I mean when I say, like, basic ice cream? You know, you know what that reminds me of? I don't know if you ever did this as a kid, but when I was a kid, sometimes I would get ice cream in the bowl, and I'd take a spoon, and I'd, like, mash the ice cream around mm -hmm. up until it's, like, a... Like a the frosty soup. paste, and that's what that reminds me of. I used to do that and then pretend I was in Star Wars. <laughs> I don't know, in my mind, that was something that they would eat in the Star Wars universe. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Nothing is taking off and nothing is landing. What's up with that? I mean, granted, it's like 80 mile per hour winds today, but still. <laughs> I do feel like with Wendy's, if you're looking to have a meal, like you need to eat your out, your hungry, and you want to for four bucks, you can feed yourself. Mm -hmm. And it wouldn't be horrible. You can't even do that at McDonald's. Like, if I get a snack wrap, a small fry, and a drink, even a small drink, it's like over five bucks. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you guys, but check out this burger. I'm just gonna squish it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably not, it's out of focus. Maybe, I don't know, but it's like juicy. So it's definitely not dry. They do balance out the flavor of the meat. Because let's face it, we like to have a lot of meat in a burger, but too much meat, it just overwhelms the taste buds and it just becomes like bitter and un unpleasant. Especially if it's dry. Mm -hmm. Especially if it's dry. I like the shape of this like half liter or liter. It doesn't... The shape fits in the cup holder. I like that. What I don't like is that it does not tell you how many milliliters this thing is. And I feel like that has to be illegal or something. Well, it probably... No, actually, now that I see it, no, it's not. But it would be nice if it said like 500 milliliters or something like that. But I'm, I'm just going to guess this is between half a liter to a liter, which is a lot of soda. Now, this is a problem. I can taste lemonade in my Coca-Cola. What? Maybe, maybe it's the aftertaste of the burger. Their lemonade isn't a completely different thing. Doesn't it taste a bit lemony to you? It does, doesn't it? That's <laughs> fucking... Tastes mine. Mine's fine. Yours still has a hint of it. You think you think the lemon and the Coca-Cola come out of sep separate spouts, right? Of the machine. Fountain machines are like that. They have one That's spout for every things. drink, yeah. right? I don't know. Like I said, their fancy like all drinks come out of one thing are usually in the lobby, not back where the employees make them. Maybe there is one back where the employees make food. I can barely see it because the fence is in the way. Yeah, but that's fine. All right, so now, you know, I put the thing of fries out of the bag and I have just fries in the bag, so I'm gonna go for it. Bag fries are the best fries. You know what? I'm not crazy about these fries. They don't taste bad, but you don't go to Wendy's for the fries. Yeah, there's, they're just lacking in some in some aspect. I mean, from a health standpoint, these are probably the best because there's just very barely any salt on it. It just tastes like straight up potato. McDonald's fries, you know, they have like a potato and a salty taste. Sheets, yeah, sheet, with their salt. sheets fries are like slightly crustyish, um, hearty fries. Sheets fries are below this, if you ask me. You think so? I don't know. The worst are Burger King fries. But these taste like straight up potato, which is a weird thing to say about fries. But I don't know how to describe it. They're just plain, which is good, but it's 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 you know not crazy. That actually tastes good though. Mm -hmm. If you go to a Wendy's, bad. if you go to a Wendy's, we definitely recommend the Frosty. The small Frosty is a, like a $1.29, and I know they sometimes have sales for the 99 cents, and I've seen around the holidays, I think they sell keychains for like less than $5, you get free small Frosties for a year. Mm -hmm. I think it's limited to one per day, but who goes to Wendy's every day?
Are you okay? I lost a fry. Take them. They're so forceful. Another. <laughs> I don't want them. You gave it to me nicely. No, you're supposed to eat it like an animal. <laughs> I'm not like that. Oh, that was All right, this little bucket of fries here. <laughs> Normally, I'd be pissed off that somebody is stealing my fries. But there are so many of them and they're so bland that I don't mind. They're bland. And I like that they don't always have them fried to a crisp. I hate when I get fries and they're all so redundant. Mm -hmm. If you think about it, in a way, it's a good thing that they're bland. Because if you want, you can add as much salt to it as you want. And the people who have like complications, I guess you could say, who can't have too much salt, are unaffected. Yeah, this is definitely a lot healthier than McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Seriously, I hate you. First off, you really, if I have like a line of pimples on my face tomorrow from where that grease was, I'm gonna kill you. Secondly, eat it. Don't eat it. Don't offer me a fry and then pull it away. Okay. Do you value your fingers? Do you want to keep them? This finger. I kind of don't want these fries anymore. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna try to get rid of like this liter of soda. Chug, 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 chug. It really tastes like it has lemonade in it though. I'm not sure if that's the aftertaste or if they forgot to clean the machine there or what. I've never been to that Wendy's before. Is there a lemon in here? Maybe there's just a lemon slice in here. <laughs> and maybe I'm just being an asshole. Maybe they made it fancy. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's no lemon slice in here. It's just, uh... Smell this. Oh, yeah, it's the lemon Maybe the cup is just scented. No. No lettering! I picked it up! Good, good. That's because you know what would happen if you didn't. Sorry. Yeah. So, I was unable to finish my fries. I had to ask my helper here. Of course, I'm unable to finish my soda. <laughs> yeah, it's here? like, mm -hmm, like up to there. There's no way. I'm, I'm gonna put it in my fridge. And I'm just gonna have soda for a month. <laughs> but that was Wendy's. So how was your how were your nuggets? Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten? You mean four out of four? They gave you four of them, right? Mm -hmm. And did you get as many as advertised? It's supposed to be four, mm -hmm. right? There you go. I've gotten five before. Oh. So they give you all the nuggets that you pay for. Although, I will say, I'm very upset. I've tried this once before. Um because I would rather have eight nuggets. I've asked before, like, hey, instead of the fries, can I just have more nuggets? They're not allowed to do that. Well, the one place let me. The other place is like, I'm sorry, we can't do that. I'm like, and how was your burger? Delicious. Delicious. And what about your frosty? And you love your frosty, your soda, okay, and your fries. So she got a four for four. I got a baconator. 
I enjoyed the sandwich. I believe that it was a fair price for the for the amount that you get. The quality of it, yeah, I'd say it's the sandwich was better than something you might buy at McDonald's. It's more substantiated. It's more I don't know how to describe it, but it's not like uh, as fakish tasting. It tastes like real food. But the fries I wasn't too crazy about. The fries Honestly, if you could get a burger from Wendy's and fries from McDonald's and put them together, you'd probably do all right. Um, if, no, I, I don't know the facts, per se, about like calories and ingredients and stuff like that, but my guess is that health-wise, Wendy's fries, although they taste like shit, in comparison, that is, to other, other fast food places, they're healthier for you, probably, because they're just not murdered in salt. <clears throat> so, for the price, we ended up paying $17.26, which is roughly $3 more than what we paid for the McDonald's bundle box. With the bundle box, I don't know about you, but I usually eat myself, like, so full that I feel like I can't move. Mm -hmm. With this, I'm comfortably full. Like, I can still go two things. Right. It's a good on-the-go, you still need to function afterwards. Right. So you'd say it's less value than the bundle box? Well, yeah, the bundle box, yeah. Right, because if you think like about it, the bundle box... Yeah, the bundle box costs, I don't know, $13? But not everybody wants to eat a Big Mac, a Beast Trigger, fries, and nuggets. Like, not everybody wants to do oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. As far as, as far as value goes... McDonald's was a 5, so I kind of want to give this a 4.8. Quality, the Frosty was delicious. I don't normally dip fries in frosting, but she forced him me a couple, and they were alright. So maybe the fries are so bland because maybe that's the way it's meant to be, I guess. My sandwich was excellent. Your Frosty was good. Did you like your sandwich? Oh yeah, it's always good. It's always good. How about your nuggets? What's better, McDonald's nuggets or your nuggets? Um, they're both Good. It's just McDonald's nuggets are like I want garbage. Right. So Wendy's nuggets are actual chicken. So it seems that for quality, for quality, as far as quality goes, Wendy's surpasses McDonald's except for the fries department. But let's face facts here: you aren't going to eat fries for lunch. You're not just going to roll up to a McDonald's and get a bag of fries. <coughs> In most cases, anyways, that's that's like a side dish. So you wouldn't intentionally go to McDonald's and order a bag of fries, but the main thing here is burgers, so that's what we're going to be judging this thing on the most, I suppose, and Wendy's is better than McDonald's, quality-wise, so we'll give that a, what is it, 5.3? It's not that much better, but it's pretty good, so we'll give it a 5.3. What other metric I can we think food. of? We got price, we got quality, the looks of it. Um, you know, I'd like to argue it looks better than McDonald's. Yeah, it, the packaging was nice, yes. The ingredients, you didn't get a spongy ass bun, it was like a nice don't glazed open it up and it's like grease roll. <laughs> McDonald's burgers, when you get them, sometimes it looks like somebody spread out a deck of cards. Mm -hmm. What do you call that when they do that? I like, don't know. Like, sit the sack down and like spread it out. Right, exactly. So, you know, that, it was neater. It was definitely neater. So, as far as uh, presentation goes, we'll give it a 6. We'll actually give it a 6. That, and that's pretty damn good. Let's see, what else? Messiness. Um, I ate that I whole. Think I was messier with McDonald's. Yeah, I think so too. The big, the Big Mac for me had lettuce pieces falling out. We used over here the baconator. There was no lettuce to spill out, and surprisingly, it didn't drip grease or anything. It's the meat was not greasy, was not messed up. It was actually yeah. cooked right. There was, it was. I've it, eaten the... a four for four while driving. Mm -hmm. The burger was juicy, but it was not dripping grease, and that's with mayonnaise, ketchup, cheese, bacon. Bacon is also incredibly greasy. So no grease on the burger, which is actually very impressive. No mess at all. Um, I had some small crumbs, but that's normal. Did you make a big mess while you were eating? Nope. nope. So less mess than McDonald's, we'll give that a 5.5. And it would seem that Wendy's exceeds McDonald's in every single department except for price and except for fries. Right. Price. Price is hard to gauge because you get different a different type of food, I guess, than McDonald's. It's like a different league. 
Does that make sense? You can't compare the two. I think you can compare them. You get a little bit more of a higher, yeah, you get a higher quality food, so it's priced a little bit higher. It's fair for it to be priced higher, but it does cost more than McDonald's. That's why, that's why I gave it, what was it, a 4.8 for the price? A 4.8 for the price. But other than that, Wendy seems to be doing well in everything else except for the fries. It just depends on what you're craving. Mm -hmm. And if and if the fry if you don't like the fries, just put some salt on it yourself. If anything, Wendy's took a little bit of a European approach, I guess. In that, if you want salt, you add it yourself instead of just dumping salt on everybody's fries. You know what I'm saying? McDonald's in Europe does that too. I, don't, I think they're, they they don't put that much salt on their fries. I mean, you're for yourself. Yeah, in America, everybody's just like salt. So that's that. We actually enjoyed it. I I this is like maybe the third time I've ever had Wendy's in my life. Second time, third time, I don't know. Baconator? Good. So we had a great time, we enjoyed it. Um, time to hit the road. So that's it, we're leaving our little lunch spot. I want to get out of here without drawing any suspicious looks for like videotaping shit everywhere. <laughs> it's just the thing, like I just feel paranoid when I'm out in public with the camera. I don't know how vloggers do it. They like walk in the middle of Times Square, yelling at a camera at arm's length away. I just, I just feel like people would, I just feel self-conscious. I just feel people would like stare at me and judge me. So that was Wendy's. Um, like I said, um, we start when we started with McDonald's, we were gonna use McDonald's as our baseline. So everything from McDonald's got a score of five. And uh, hopefully this rating system now makes more sense now that I'm putting it in motion, so to speak. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, hit the like, hit the comments. I enjoy reading your comments. I don't always have time to reply, but That's I do shoe. enjoy reading them. Give a shoe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and bye bye.